Oh, hello. Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, May 23rd of 2019, and it's uh, 1.23 a.m. And uh, yesterday, a few hours ago, well, about 2 p.m. or so, I... I got the aquarium that I ordered, a 20-gallon aquarium from Walmart. And I know uh, I know I could have got a good a better deal price-wise and uh, it would have been better to, you know, go pick out the actual, you know, aquarium hood and all type that type of stuff. Uh, we I don't have a car and uh my daughter is lives in the same apartment complex, my grown daughter, of course. And I hate to ask her, she does enough now. I've got two doctor's appointments this uh, month that she'll be taking me to, so I hate to ask her to do because she works on the phone when she's taking me someplace or whatever, she's not making, you know, not making money. So uh, I went ahead and ordered this from Walmart. Uh, as far as I can remember, this is the first time I've ever, we do order food from Walmart, but uh, this is the first time that I can remember actually ordering something from Walmart and having it, you know, delivered. Uh, we order a ton of stuff from Amazon. Uh, the tank's a 20 gallon, 20 gallon high. I'm not sure they call them high, but it's not a 20 gallon long. You can see it in the background, I believe, yes. Um, and I'll show you some footage, I believe, here in a little bit of it, a little closer up, using my cell phone for the video. Um, so I'm gonna be repeating probably, if I splice those together, I'll be repeating something that doesn't hurt. The tank came really well packed, you know, uh, had styrofoam all around all the corners and uh, came in a great heavy box and uh, everything got two-day delivery um, no charge for you know delivery um, the tank was remarkably clean uh, not even dust uh, I mean it couldn't have been any cleaner and uh, I ordered 25 pounds of gravel also from uh, Walmart, came at the same time. And I put all 25 pounds of gravel in there, in the tank. And, I'm, uh, and the gravel, I, I finally stopped actually, uh, you know, rinsing it, you know, putting it in a container and stirring it up because there was nothing, it, it, it was dust-free, dirt-free, it was remarkable. And with my arthritis, uh, that was all a big help. I didn't have a clean container. Where is it sitting here? So, well, never mind, you don't have to get it. It's a coffee. <laughs> ended up using a Folgers coffee little container that you buy coffee my uh, grown son use you know he drinks coffee and it, that was an empty one that I had said hey that's a nice container so I used that so it took me a while I turned on I had uh, echo play techno music to get me in the mood and and uh, we do not have this is an apartment complex we do not have available to us an outside faucet for water. Um, I thought about putting the aquarium over here because the bathroom is right there and you know now they have, I've never had those in the past, but they have these hoses. I think like I was looking at 25 foot that, uh, that the faucets in there unless I took off the shower head or you know it was just so I just, you know, 
uh, I debated where to, you know, to put the tank. Um, and I decided on that location there. I rearranged everything on my desk again. I hooked up my long monitor next to my 4K monitor that I put in a 1080p mode. And that just didn't uh, work out. So I've gone, I've gone back to 4K monitor in 1080p with a 1080p uh, monitor over here. And the entire reason for that uh, is so that I can have the control over here on the other monitor. I'm going to drag it over now. I can have this over on the other monitor and I can see at all times you know my video and I can see the audio whether it's you know you know in the green zone or what have you and uh, so that's why I've got that so all of this is <laughs> if it wasn't that I was doing YouTube monitors I would just have my 4k monitor here in front of me and 4k mode I also had to put the printer there. I actually, and I put actually the computer now down on the floor. I'm not too crazy about that location uh, because when I moved everything around, then I had to get down and um, change a few wires around. And with my arthritis, it I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get back up. You know, it's terrible to get old. So I uh, ordered plants, and I ordered them Monday, and I thought they will get here, you know, Wednesday probably, and uh, ordered plants. I think I spent about $30, I believe, on plants, and uh, ordered Monday, and I According to you know the uh, shipping, uh, he sends U.S. Postal Service uh, priority, and you pay a flat rate of eight dollars for shipping. And, you know, come to your mailbox, and uh, no matter what he you know, uh, if you if you order one plant, you have to pay eight dollars extra shipping. But if you order a whole bunch of plants, it's just eight dollars for shipping. And he says if you place your order on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, or Thursday before five p.m., it will ship the following day. So I placed it Monday. It should have been shipped Tuesday, and Monday right away he sent an email with the tracking number. So. What he did was, and I don't know, maybe something came up, maybe uh, maybe something came up. You know, I, I think he's a one-man operation, I believe. Has a pretty neat setup and has good prices, and the plants look, well, you know, you can't tell. But uh, I got, you know, the uh, email with a tracking number, and he says that when you get the, you know, the, as soon as he ships, he sends the, so apparently what he did is, you know, made out the shipping label and I just did the tracking again I've been doing the track, and it shows that uh, it uh, will be here Saturday. So he must have made out the uh, uh, thing and then he's, uh, okay, let's see. So I mean that's okay. Things come up. It may be that he that there was something on my uh, list that uh, might have been something on my list that had that he just ran out of, and he waited for some more to come in or something like that. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to put. And I, th I believe that I may see today will be Thursday. So 
the possibility that my daughter may run me over to Petco today, later today, and I'll pick up uh, some items that I need. Also, I've got an order. I haven't hit to send it yet, but I've got an order for submergible heater and uh, some other things, a bucket, uh, a net, uh, some planting tools, stuff like that. I may place that order here in a little bit. If I do, it should arrive today. Um, so plant-wise, I'm thinking of maybe five Coriodorus of some type. I love Placostomus. Uh, I might try to... I'm not sure if I'm just going to get one Placostomus or if I try to get a pair or something. Um, no guppies. Uh, no... I used to love discus. I used to have, you know, discus at home when we had the tropical fish shop. And I'd also have, of course, have them at the aquarium for sale. But no discus. Um, let's see, Coriodorus, Placostomus for sure. I love those fish. Uh, no live bearers. I know neons and cardinals and uh, white clouds and all those make a nice addition to a tank and go back and forth and, you know, in a school and all that type of stuff. I don't think so. Definitely as one or more different kinds of. Uh, Snails. I love snails. Um, I think they're really neat. Um, maybe a red tail shark. If I just knew I was going to get one that was going to be a good boy. And uh, maybe a clown loach. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. But I'm eliminating a bunch of uh, zebra danos or, you know. Nice in a school. I won't be getting those either, I don't think. I may get tired of just having, you know, Coriodorus catfish and some snails and a Placostomus and having the Placostomus hide most of the time. And I may just eventually decide to, uh, you know, go with a community tank or whatever. Anyway, I'm not sure what's... Oh. Uh... Don't touch the mouse, because I'm going to show you some close-up views of the uh, of the tank. So, don't touch the mouse. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, uh, I am using a brand new program. It's on sale. I got to notice it was on sale today. ACDC Video Studio 3 and uh, I think the normal price is like $70 for it and I, uh, I got it for $14.95 so it seems like a good deal, and I'm just checking it, uh, just checking it out. Um, so I just installed it. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you're seeing me or you're seeing the desktop, or uh, or what. Let me see if I can pop it up here. This is the control. So I think this is what you're seeing. I do not think right now you are seeing the desktop. So my video here is full screen. I wonder if I go to, okay, I can't change that apparently. I can trash it, I can whatever this is, I can stop it. I guess I could turn the webcam off. Let's see if I can do that. No, I cannot do that. So, 
record, stop, options. Apparently I can't, can't call that up either while I'm doing this. So. Um, so far it looks good. I mean, for $15 too. Looks actually, the only problem is I own uh, about five at least other you know, programs that do things like this. But I'm going to stop now and I'll probably come back. So don't touch the mouse till you find out. But I want to go into the settings and see how I can set things up and adjust things. But so far this looks like a great deal. I'm not sure how much longer they'll put a link. But anyway, it's... Uh, Okay, back with this ACDC video program. Uh, I'm running the ACDC Video Recorder 3. Then they also have a, you know, studio, which is a editor. Uh, it has been crashing, not responding the program to a whole bunch. I, so this is the next day I've rebooted and what have you. It's uh, So far it's acting really weird and really strange. Let's see if I can even get it to record the desktop here. Uh, now I'm not using the video uh, the camera. So if and now the you know my browser does not what here we go okay I think this ACDC video let's see um, this is pretty slow. Um, Let's see if we can, okay, if I can pull up, just turn on my camera. Okay, but it's up here now. Um, let's see something else too, because it's not showing up. Let's see, let's go to apps, default apps. Okay, let's go down here. See, it doesn't show up. There were normally it, it should show up here for uh, yeah. It it just uh, let's see what happens when I try to pull up the control panel here getting, you know, the microphone response, uh, but I can't see if I'm recording the desktop. Now, if I clicked on, you know, if I clicked on uh, the camera in this, if I went up here and turned on the camera, well, let me do that. Let me close my this. Now, we know this works because I did try it, but okay, so since I'm recording, I can't do it. Now this uh, this program is not going to uh, this is not going to make the grade. This uh, right now gets. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one.